Good morning, Bulldogs. Today is Thursday, January 13th, 2022. Welcome to our virtual assembly for the month of January. Let's go ahead and get started with our school challenge led by some of our fifth grade student leadership students. The world belongs to us. And we'll accept the challenge to represent the global community in a caring way. We are the ultimate students. We renew our quest for excellence every day by being choirs and critical thinkers. We pledge to be open-minded, well-balanced, and to live by high ideals and principles. We strive to be responsible risk-takers who believe that it is not a disgrace not to reach the stars, but it is a disgrace to have no stars to reach for. Knowledge will be our goal. Reflection and communication will be our means for making this world a better place. We are the ultimate students. The world belongs to us, the future belongs to us, and today begins with us. Thank you to our fifth grade student leadership team for leading us in our school challenge. Next, we're going to go ahead and draw some names from our Maze Money Aquarium. So, let's go ahead and get started with our pre-K through second grade students. First name is... Oh, no name. Next name. No name. Next name is Allison from Mr. Coleman's class. That's one. Two. We have... Looks like Zachary from kindergarten, Miss Gilbertson's class. And third student will be no name. And Samaya from Mrs. O'Hara's class. Congratulations, our pre-K through second grade students. You will get your base money coupon from your teacher. Next, we also pick three teacher names from pre-K through second grade. So let's go ahead and start with our first teacher. It is Mr. Crockett. Number two, we have Miss Mo. And lastly, number three, we have, oh, no name. And Mr. V. So congratulations, Mr. Crockett, Miss Mo, and Mr. V. You will receive a prize in your mailbox. All right, it is time to choose three student names from our third through fifth grade classrooms. So let's get started with student number one, which is a Sue. Student number two, Devin. And student number three, Not exactly sure who that is. Can't read the name. And Yoma. Congratulations to our students, Asu, Devin, and Yoma, for having your names drawn for our amazing um, maze money coupon. So you'll receive those from your teacher. Now it's time to pick three teacher names from grades three through five. So let's go ahead and start with our first teacher. It is. Oh. Miss Ahmed, teacher number one. Teacher number two, it is Miss Burkus. And teacher number three, we have Miss Thomas. Congratulations to our three teachers. We had Miss Thomas, Miss Perkis, and Miss Ahmed. You will find a prize in your mailbox. Congratulations to all of our student winners and staff winners. At our assembly in December, I said that our school-wide reward would be to earn 15,000 maize money in order to get to face paint your teachers. Let's see where we are with our goal right now. So far we have earned 16,199 maize dollars. We have reached our goal and passed $15,000. That means teachers will have to face paint their faces on Thursday, January 27th of this month. Congratulations, Bulldogs, for earning all of that maize money. For our next school wide reward, our fifth grade student leadership team has decided that for 30,000 maize dollars for a school wide reward, 
a teacher will have to dye their hair. Just like the ice bucket challenge, we will put together a voting ballot. All students and staff will get to vote for one teacher, and that teacher will, with the most votes will have to dye their hair for all of us to see. I wonder who that lucky teacher will be. So let's do our best to earn our maze money so that we can reach our goal of 30,000 maze money. Next, these students have been chosen by their classroom teacher for being open-minded. What does it mean to be open-minded? It means we critically appreciate our own cultures and personal histories, as well as the values and traditions of others. We seek and evaluate a range of points of view, and we are willing to grow from the experience. Starting in Miss Loving's pre-K class, Max. Mrs. O'Hara's pre-K class, Nima. Miss Abdurazak's kindergarten class, Elham. Miss Gilbertson's kindergarten class, Cameron. Mr. V's kindergarten class, Malaya. Miss M's first grade class, Victory. Miss Vetter's first grade class, Nelson. Miss Wheeler's first grade class, Muhammad. Mr. Coleman's second grade class, Harrison. Miss Gifford's second grade class, Ramon. And Miss Kellogg's class, Kaj. Mr. Busey's third grade class, Adam. Mr. Shimon and Mr. Cannon's class, Talia. Miss Thomas's third grade class, Terriel. Miss Johnson's fourth grade class, Zafan. Mrs. Schoen's fourth grade class, one. Miss Ahmed's fifth grade class, Anthony. And Miss Lowe's fifth grade class, Jalen. Congratulations to our amazing IB learners for being open minded. I will come around and pass your certificate to you and also take your picture for our IB Learner Award winners bulletin board by the gym. Thank you for being open minded. Just a reminder that there is no school on Monday because it'll be Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So we will see you all back at school on Tuesday. For all of you at Benjamin e. Mays, thank you for tuning in to our school-wide assembly. Until next time, remember to be safe, be respectful, and be responsible because that is how we do things the Mays way. Have a wonderful day.